You know those super viral cooking videos on YouTube with millions upon millions of views? They always have these clickbait titles like I cook this almost every single day. And personally, I'm always wondering if these recipes are worth the hype. So today I'm going to put one of these recipes to the test in this new series. We'll see about that. And as always, there is no time to waste. Now let's go! Today's hyped up recipe is coming from the channel Cooking Every Day. And we're going to be recreating their most popular recipe. It's titled, I've Never Eaten Such Delicious Toast. So it looks like it's four simple and delicious everyday toast recipes. Okay, got my iced coffee ready and here we go. Starting with a plain old piece of bread and she's cutting out a circle with a glass. Okay, so my mom used to make these for me all the time and she called them Texas One Eyes, which later I discovered no one has ever, ever in history called it that, right? I think my cameraman Marcus told me that these things are called toad in the holes, is that right? Which I know as a British dish, I actually just posted a recipe about that. I like these kind of recipes because it reminds me of my childhood. Looks like for the first one here, we have butter, eggs, green onion, and cheddar cheese. And then she's putting a little lid on it. I mean, that looks good, but we'll see. Here we go with the second recipe. This one's starting with eggs, salt, pepper, and paprika. Then she's simply adding parsley, green onion, and mozzarella cheese to that egg mix. Then we just dip our bread into that egg mixture and fry it off in a pan. That's even easier than the first one. It's almost like some kind of savory French toast. I actually really like the way it looks when those green herbs hit the pan, that color gets unlocked. Beautiful looking toast. But again, it's super simple. I can't see this being like, blow my face off amazing. This is like a kind of a snack you would make for like a little kid that they would really love, which by all means is great. Oh, okay, then she's finishing it with sriracha. That's the adult version. Spice it up. She's crazy, man. What's she gonna do next? So insane. <laughs> Here we go with the third recipe. Yeah, get that shell out of there. Can't have that. Starting with eggs, bell pepper, salt, pepper, green onion. Another very simple recipe. She's cutting the bread with a pizza roller. Whatever works, right? She's pouring in that egg mixture and then topping it with more cheddar cheese. And then the bread goes back on. Who gives the house a little roof? These are all kind of really pretty similar, you know what I mean? For the final recipe, let's see what's up. She's getting crazy, Marcus. She's tearing the bread up into little pieces, like she's gonna feed it to a pigeon. Grape tomatoes. So that's it, salt, pepper, and eggs, and she's pouring it over those little ripped pieces of bread. Ooh, it's getting nice and soggy. She's going in with olive oil this time. No butter, olive oil. This is so simple, I don't know where it's going, but it's funny that it's just eggs and bread. I would have thought there would be like cheese and herbs again, but no. So let's see what happens. Fry for a few minutes, give it a flip. Spread tomato sauce on top of the pancake, she says. Tomato sauce, like pizza sauce? Okay, mozzarella cheese. And then the grape tomatoes are going on top. This is like something a, like a stoner would make at like two in the morning. Bro, you gotta try what I made, man. It's so <laughs> good, dude. I'm not gonna knock it until I try it, but I don't like the look of that one, I'm sorry. But that is what this series is about. Is it worth the hype? Well, we will see about that. At the end, we'll give it a rating one through 10. And if it's really good, we're gonna absolutely destroy my fridge, which is just something we do around here. If you're new, I don't know what to tell you. Just keep watching, okay? Here's my little piece of bread. It's a sort of funny loaf I got here. It has these little ears. It doesn't matter, it's all the same thing. I'm gonna take a glass here. Go ahead and punch out a circle. Like so, my glass isn't that sharp. I may have to just get in there with a knife. It may not look pretty, but it works. Non-stick pan here over medium low heat. Unsalted butter going in. In goes the bread. I'm gonna roll it around a little bit. I'm gonna dab a little more butter in the middle. We're gonna crack an egg right in there. You've never seen anything like this in your life. I'm not sure why my mom called this a Texas one. I think moms just make stuff up because it's fun. It's funny to lie to your children. I'm gonna do the same because we hand things down. And here's what she does. Salt, pepper, a little bit of green onion in there, some chopsticks. She sort of scrambles the egg like inside of here. Never seen anything like this. A little bit of cheddar cheese right there. And then we put the cut out circle of bread back on top. And then we need to flip it. And she didn't do this, but I just can't help but to brush a little bit of butter on here so it doesn't dry out. And here we go, time for a flip. Beep, beep, beep. Wow, <laughs> looks surprisingly good. I'm gonna cook it on the other side for another, I don't know, 90 seconds or so. Swirl it in the butter, swirl it in the butter. Other side is nice and toasty. I'm gonna take it out, there we are. Let's cut it in half and see what this looks like in the middle and give it a taste. I mean, you know, I, I like these kind of things. You know, it's really simple. I'm gonna go right for the middle. If you handed that to me on the way out the door, I'd be pumped. Bread toasted in butter, cheddar cheese, egg, green onions, 7.4. What's your rating? I give a seven two. Okay. What well, can't give a low rating than me? Like you're Mr. Critical? I'm really critical. <laughs> I thought you said you liked it. And here we go with recipe number two, starting by cracking three eggs, adding a little pinch of salt. Sergeant Gilbert reporting for duty. That's our little sentient pepper grinder. He's part of the show, okay? 
You think it's weird? It's like aliens exist, man, and you think my pepper grinder is weird? You know, what are you, ta what are you talking about? Oh yeah, dude, you think that's weird, dude? Next up, a little bit of smoked paprika going in. Pop the egg yolks. Always helps when you're whisking up eggs, and we're gonna go ahead and just beat these. Something about the look of uh, red spices in eggs grosses me out a little bit. If you know, you know, you know? Green onion, parsley, just chopped it up, and mozzarella cheese. By the way, that's low moisture mozzarella. Most of the times when you're melting cheese, that is kind of the preferred one. I was supposed to put it in something big enough to fit the uh, bread, kind of failed on that one. So onto a plate it goes, and here we go, egg going in. I think she kind of dipped hers in pretty quickly, but you know what? I'm gonna let mine sit. I'm gonna put some on top. And by the way, with that amount of egg, you could probably get away with doing three or four slices of toast. And here we go, back into a pan over medium low heat. Just a little bit of butter melted in there. Same as the last recipe. Just about two minutes, I'm gonna flip. And then we'll cook on this side for another two minutes or so. I just removed it from the pan, and the last thing I'm gonna do, just hit it with a little sriracha, as I see her do in the video. Let's slice this one in half and get a peek at the middle here. Let's get Marcus back in here and try this out. I think I like the look of this one more. Mozzarella cheese, herbs, sriracha, paprika. I like the paprika. I like the little bit of spice. Because the bread soaked up the egg more, this one's a little bit moister in your mouth. I don't know, what do you think? Like savory French toast, mm -hmm. like you said. Mm -hmm. I'll go 7.6 on that, it's pretty good. I'll do the same rating. Third recipe, starting with an egg, which I've realized looks pretty much exactly like my head. It's funny that as soon as I go bald, I start making all these egg videos. I don't, what kind of weird is that? Starting with one egg, some chopped sweet bell pepper, green onion, salt, and pepper. Again, with a good mix. And in this one, she made an actual square, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Don't have a pizza roller here, but I think this will work. Out she comes, now we have this little square thing. Same deal, pan with a little bit of butter, throw a little more in the middle, and in with the eggs. And again, with a little bit of cheddar cheese, I'm starting to get a little confused now because this is the same as the first one, except there's bell pepper, and it's square. Square tastes better, bro. Always go square. Square <laughs> shapes taste better. And again, we go in with that little cap right there. I'm gonna brush a little butter on this piece again. After about two minutes, I'll flip. Another two minutes on that other side and we're done. Let's give it a try, although I, I kinda know how it's gonna taste. All right, Marcus, my friend, let's try this thing. Oh, oh, that's so hot. Dude, you can taste the square. Square is good. All joking aside, I actually like this better than the first one. It's the same as the first one, except it has a little bell pepper. No, I like this one better too, actually. <laughs> bell pepper, uh, like, it's just a kind of flavor of breakfast, at least in America. Oh, I'll, I'll go, uh, Oh, slow, huh? <laughs> I'm going 7-7 seven, seven on that one. That's my highest rating so far. I've enjoyed this one the most. I'll go 7-6. Fair enough. It's like Price is Right. For our fourth and final recipe, we're gonna start by tearing up three pieces of bread into little pieces. Does not have to be perfect. This is the one I'm actually the most curious about. It's some kind of like frittata, strata, omelet, pizza, breakfast, marinara thing. I don't have super high hopes, so we'll see. In my mind, this is gonna be my least favorite one, but I don't know, anything could happen. Then simply just crack four eggs. One of my recent videos was a masterclass on eggs, so I'm just like, just kinda sick of eggs right now. I'm sick of my head. We'll just give these a nice mix. Salt going in, pepper, and dump it all over your bread. Make sure all that bread gets some of the egg. Make a big goopy mess. I got the pan on the heat just a touch under medium. I'm adding a little bit of olive oil. Uh, here we go. And we're gonna flatten that. There we go. Wow. And we'll pop a lid on it and let it cook for about three minutes. I've got that cooking behind me. While that happens, I'm just gonna slice some grape tomatoes in half, just like so. Three minutes are up. I know I should probably use a spatula, but I like living on the edge. Ready? Oh, just flawless technique. Then we'll cook for another couple of minutes on the other side. Little bit of store-bought tomato sauce right on here. I'm not gonna knock it until I try it, but it looks to me like it's an overcooked omelet pizza thing. I don't know about this. Next, mozzarella cheese, thin little layer, and our cherry tomatoes. Tomato, 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 potato. Okay, there we go. Some parsley and cheese. Again. Again, pop a cover on it and we'll cook it for another three minutes or so until everything's nice and melted. There we go, it took about four minutes. The cheese is melted, out it comes. Let's give this thing a try. I'm gonna go ahead and use a knife I don't really care about. Uh, I don't wanna eat any more eggs. <laughs> it looks cool, I still don't have high hopes. Ah, ah! I almost, I'm no joke, I'm sorry to the original creator. I almost spit it out. The amount of time you cook the eggs, that they're so overcooked, I have that wet dog. You smell the wet dog? I'll be honest, I kinda like it. You like it? Oh my God, really? I don't like this. I'm from New York. 
This tastes exactly like pizza. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Shut up. My biggest problem with this is the doneness of the eggs. Overcooked eggs for me are just, I'm sorry, it's so gross. The brown eggs never taste good. I mean, Marcus likes it more than I do. This is definitely by far my least favorite one. I'm gonna give this like, I'm gonna give that like a literal 3.6. I'm sorry, that's my score on that. Pizza toppings are so good. Just get a piece of toast or something and put all those things mm -hmm. on. Like the right. egg is a weird thing. That's a good way of putting it's it. It's like 6.7 maybe. Okay, I'm getting a tomato off the top with the cheese and the sauce. I mean, the toppings on pizza are undefeated. That was delicious. It just doesn't need to be over a freaking egg pancake. You put that over anything, it's good. I'll Anything suck that else. off the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I recently just did my own video, which is a whole masterclass on pan fried eggs. If you want to learn more about that, there's a video right next to me. And as always, there are links down in the description for some of my favorite products I use on this channel, as well as some awesome merch if you want to help support the channel. Thanks for watching, and until next time, you know I love you in a mouth.